less than a week away from the election, and you're down to the wire of mailing in your ballot if you select that option. Depending on what county you live in and what ballot you have, it might almost already be too late. KQ2's Madeline McLean speaking to the Postal Service, the County Clerk, and the Secretary of State's office to cut through the confusion on voting deadlines. Here as mud. Maybe the best way to describe the difference between absentee and mail-in voting processes in Missouri. A lot of people got mail-in confused with absentee, as we all know. Let's start with absentee voting. You can vote absentee by mail or in person, as long as you fit one of the predefined reasons for voting that way, including if you're at risk for COVID or you won't be in town on November 3rd. If you have an absentee ballot in your possession and you have not mailed it in and you're leery of mailing it in, bring it to our office. The USPS says it's not too late to mail in your ballot and get it counted by your local clerk's office. For the risk it doesn't make it, ticks up as the clock ticks down. Think about how many more days you have until, you know, Tuesday when the mail comes. Ballots must be received by the county clerk's office by 7 p.m. election day to count. We tell our people, when you get your ballot and you know what you're voting on, vote it and get it in the mail. That's all crystal clear. Mail-ins, however, are messier. Missourians could request a mail-in ballot this year. No excuse needed. So if mail-in voters are equally worried about dropping their ballot in the mail, can they surrender their vote at the ballot box? See, that's the tricky part with mail-in. You know, if you literally requested a mail-in ballot, that's what you wanted because you were obviously nervous and leery of COVID. We, as Secretary of State would say, and, you know, every election official, you got to mail it in. So... Mail-in ballots have got to be mailed in. Not every county is going this route. Some are actually letting voters surrender mail-in ballots. The Secretary of State's tweet Wednesday showing that between Sunday and Tuesday, more than 150 people surrendered their ballot, their mail-in ballot. After confirming that was the case with the Secretary of State's office, the spokesperson explained because a new state law didn't lay out a specific process, the local election authority's decision is the final say. They chose mail-in. That's what they have to do. They have to mail it in. So as of this moment right now in Buchanan County, if you chose the mail-in route, you better drop it in the mail and ASAP. I'm not trying to suppress the mail-in uh, voters, you know, that requested an absolute, you know, the actual mail-in ballot, but that's what you get when you sign up for that. You have to mail it in. And that's why I'm just saying the sooner the better to get it here. Because you don't have another option. Reporting in St. Joseph, Madeline McLean, KQ2 News. A federal appeals court ruled last week, according to Missouri law, mail-in ballots must be delivered by the U.S. mail to the election offices by 7 p.m. election night to count. 